Oh, you're not kidding. This is called uh, Tasty Double Dipped Lemon Strawberries this morning. Doesn't that look good? I am joined by Erica Douglas. She's with the Girl Scouts of Central Illinois, and she's going to tell us a little bit about why some sometimes a lot of people just like to eat the cookies, but mm -hmm. you can use them in recipes just like these double dipped strawberries. You're going to make them for us right now. Uh, what does it take to make these delicious treats? There are pretty simple recipe and kind of a family friendly recipe so you can get your kids involved. You want to start out with a pint of medium sized strawberries rinsed and dried well. A kitchen tip for you, before you dip these strawberries you want to dry them with a paper towel, pat them dry because they'll hold call. the chocolate <laughs> and the cookies a little bit better. And then you're going to uh, melt about a cup of white chocolate morsels with a tablespoon of shortening okay. for about a minute. Um, you if can it do that in the microwave? Do it in the microwave okay. and if it doesn't uh, melt, uh, do it in 10 second intervals until it has melted and stir it up. And then the important part, the cookies. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're going to use our lemonade cookie for this recipe. Mm -hmm. Take six lemonade cookies for this recipe. And um, Melissa, I think you're going to help us out by crumbling some I'm a roller some today. <laughs> this is going to be fun. And this is the fun part to get your kids involved in because this is something they can get into and, and crumble up. So she's going to work on crumbling that up. I've already crumbled up about three of these cookies, so oh, okay. I can um, go ahead and get started and walk you through this. Oh, so she's got some crumbled up there, and she's going to walk us through. So you want to take one strawberry. I've already patted them dry with a paper towel, but just remember to do that before you dip them. These are a lot harder to crumble than I thought they would be. Yeah, so you, and the easier part might be even putting them in a baggie. And oh, then, you know, that's a good call, yeah. Uh, and that's a clean way for your kids to yes. get involved. So you want to dip those, and then you're just going to roll them into the lemonade cookie. Goodness, if you're a lemonade cookie lover, this is going to be a delectable treat for you. My yes, goodness. and a very simple treat. <laughs> and how long do you need to let these dry or sit before you can serve? After you um, dip them, you want to put them in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours, no more than 24 hours. Um, I made some yesterday, um, set them in the refrigerator overnight, and they're, they're good to go today. So I'm going to make one real special here for Chad. We'll see if Ooh, he likes this. One. <laughs> this is a big one. Maybe you, he'll uh, have to take more than one bite. Okay, Chad. We're going to try this out. Are you going to uh, try my tasty treat here? Uh, okay. Okay. Ready? One, right. two, three, go. Oh, well, looky there. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. You got to take, what is mm. it like? Nothing better than watching somebody eat on TV. Yeah, right. Well, it's a strawberry, so it's even easy, It's even harder to get it out of your teeth. So we've actually done you a very big disservice this morning. That is very good. You know, this tastes like spring. A with spring. With the strawberry and the, the lemon. Well, maybe the Girl Scouts can help usher in our spring a little earlier. Yeah, I feel this year. badly for them because they have to go out door to door selling their cookies with this weather. E yeah, that's but, not a good way to start it off. But they will get it done, trust me, because people love the Girl Scout cookies. Thanks, Melissa.